Hey guys, Angela here. So today we're gonna talk about anti-reflectant coatings and different lens materials. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk anti-glare. All right, some people get it, some people don't. Realistically, it should be on everyone's lenses. Here is why. Everything that your eye is trying to do, the, the clarity that it's trying to get has to do with the light that's in the back of your eye. So why wouldn't you put something that lets light pass through your lenses to, to get to the back of your eye if you can? So anti-glare, this is a good example. Before and after, great, great, great demo. So this kind of shows you what you're looking at when you have an uncoated lens, how much light is bouncing around, and how much light actually passes through when you actually have that coating on there. That's really important. When you do not have a coating on your lenses, you actually lose 8% of light. Like I said, everything that your eye is trying to do has to do with light. The more light in the back of your eye, the sharper the vision. So you do want to make sure you have that on your lenses. People who have a higher prescription or a lot of astigmatism correction are really, really great candidates for this type of product because of the fact that astigmatism has to do with how your eye is shaped. Your eye is shaped differently, therefore light does not hit the back of the lens in your eye where it is supposed to. So it's either in front of or behind that lens. So when you get your glasses prescription and the doctor specifying to the laboratory what angle your lenses need to be at and what power, that actually helps so that the light that bounces on your lenses hits at the exact precise point that it needs to in the back of your eye. So having a coated lens actually helps that because you're bringing more light to the back of your eye. That includes people who have cataracts or any type of medical condition that makes it difficult to see, especially starbursts of light. People who have cataracts do experience starbursts of light at night because of that cloudiness that they have. So it is important to get the anti-glare so that way you are eliminating any possibility of having extra halos that are unnecessary. So not only does anti-glare bring more light to the back of your eye, aesthetically it actually makes your lenses look a lot better because it's letting that light pass through. You're not getting all that light bouncing around. The same thing when you're trying to take your selfie or you're trying to take pictures with your family. You do want to make sure you have that so that way when you're taking a picture and you can see everyone's eyes, you'll be the only person that has white glare all over their lenses. You won't be able to see your eyes at all. A lot of the top anti-reflecting coatings actually have a two-time within two-year warranty for scratches. For me, I'm the person that remembers a day after my one-year warranty is up that I even had a warranty. So that is a bonus. Okay, so anti-reflecting is not just for adults anymore. With the increase with smart boards and tablets and computers and things like that in school starting at a younger age, it is starting to be very recommended for kids to get them. I recommend it for any kid that is getting any glasses just because it is going to create that sharp vision. But also if you like taking pictures of your kids like I do, you want to make sure that if you do take their picture or they do take those school pictures, that you're going to actually have really clear lenses and you'll be able to see their eyes in those pictures. Also, that scratch uh, protection, it's a beneficial for parents because they are going to have a warranty on that as long as it's within that certain time period and that's something that you want to ask your optician about. Okay, so here's a little bit of information a lot of people don't know. Your cell phone and your tablets and all those electronic devices that you use actually emit something called blue visible light. What that does is it actually suppresses melatonin. If you don't know what melatonin is, melatonin is actually naturally produced in your body and it helps you fall asleep easier. So when you turn on your cell phone to look at it at night right before you go to bed, you're actually suppressing your melatonin quickly and it's gonna make it a lot harder for your brain to shut down and go to sleep. The same thing with those natural feel lights, um, the light bulbs, you actually may wanna consider switching to regular ones in your bathroom so that if you do take a bathroom break at night, you're not gonna suppress your melatonin and make it harder for you to go to sleep. The reason why I bring this up is there's a lot of anti-reflectants out there that actually block blue visible light. So if you are a frequent computer user, you may wanna actually consider getting that particular anti-reflectant. Um, you can actually ask your optician about which brands are offered through their practice. Um, that way you can get a hold of something like that if that is an issue that you are having. One way to really tell is to stop using your phone or any electronic device 45 minutes before you go to bed. I know, don't freak out, 45 minutes. You can do a whole bunch of things in 45 minutes that don't involve your phone. So I definitely have to be real with you guys. The first couple pairs of glasses that I got, I didn't get anti-glare because I wanted to save on cost. So the company I was working for said, you know what, if you're gonna sell it, you do have to try it. So once I did get the anti-glare, I did notice that my vision was sharper, 
I was like, I guess, you know, I guess that's a pretty good product. I guess I don't notice a huge difference. Um, I did notice that night driving, it was so much clearer, especially when it was raining. But the other benefit that I didn't anticipate was how much my eye fatigue actually went down. I did not feel tired at three, four o'clock in the afternoon. I actually felt very refreshed going into six, seven o'clock at night when you're working on computers and you know, you're kind of running around, you don't anticipate that you're gonna have that much eye fatigue. So when I got the anti-glare and I noticed the difference, I was like, well, that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and talk lens materials. Some people who have high prescriptions know exactly what I'm talking about. When you have a high minus or a high plus, you're gonna notice that thickness of your lenses. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert pictures right now showing you a high minus prescription and a high plus prescription. High minus prescription is going to be thinner in the middle and thicker on the edges, okay? Now this material is a plastic lens, okay? And this is a high index 1.67. So you can see the difference in thinness. What that's going to do is it's gonna give you a wider field of vision. People who have a higher prescription are gonna notice a sweet spot that feels really, really clear. And if you're in a plastic lens, you're gonna notice where that prescription gets thicker and fades off because the vision won't feel as clear. It's gonna kind of blur out in the corners. Now this is a high plus prescription. High plus prescription is gonna be thicker in the middle than it is on the edges. And this shows you the same exact prescription, which is a plus 450, in a plastic versus a high index material. So you can see by getting that high index material, you're gonna get a thinner, flatter lens. You're also gonna get a wider field of vision that's clearer. So it is gonna be a lot better for you. Some people cannot actually adapt to certain materials. So you may have to switch to a different one if you do get your lenses and you're finding that you are having issues. That's something that your optician will talk to you about if you are having several issues with your lenses. Okay, so anyone under the age of 18 is required to be in an impact resistant lenses. There are two materials that are impact resistant and approved for minors. That is polycarbonate and Trivex. Polycarbonate and Trivex are both about 25% thinner than plastic, so it is gonna be a little bit thinner. Um, but the one thing that's different between the two is that Trivax is actually recommended for higher prescriptions um, for people who are minors or need to be in an impact resistant lens because it actually has better optics. Okay guys, so that is all about anti-reflecting coatings and different lens materials. If you have any questions, make sure you put it in comments. I would love to know any questions you guys may have. We'll make a future video answering those questions for you. Remember, trust your optician. They know exactly what they're doing. They're the number one person that you wanna go to for any questions or any problems that you are having. So make sure that you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for other videos. We are gonna be doing a video next that is talking about progressives. I know, scary, but you'll be fine, trust me.